Hey guys, Maxi Design here, and welcome to a new video. Um, we've just hit 15,000 subscribers on the channel, which is absolutely mind blowing. Um, I didn't think I would ever get to 15,000, but the support on the channel has been insane the last like two or three months. Um, we've been hitting maybe a thousand subscribers a month um, for the past three months, which is just it's incredible. Um, thank you guys very much for that, um, uh, and hopefully we can hit 20k now. Um, I do have some stuff planned for 15k, so that should be out soon. Today we're going to be looking at Highest in the Room. This is a single cover um, from Travis Scott. Um, this came out a while ago, but I really, really like the album cover art. Um, and I just want to have a go at recreating it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, I've got three textures so far. So I've got the la so I've got a ladder. I couldn't find a ladder that's similar to this one, so I just got a ladder. <laughs> Uh, we've also got like a sea of clouds. Um, it's kind of like the, the top when you get to the, when you're in a plane. This is what you kind of see as you go through the clouds. So I kind of I think I googled top of the clouds, um, and then you get a lot of things that are like similar to this. Um, then I got a night sky. This is a I don't think this is a real night sky, but it kind of resembles this. It resembles the background of this one. So I'm gonna add. At the end, I'm going to add some textures and make it kind of look a bit more like what it looks like here. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have a go at making it. So first thing, I'm going to start with the clouds, because I think that's the little base texture. And they sit about just under halfway. So that, yeah, that's about right. Um, so let me get rid of this. I don't know if I should use, I think I'm going to use the magnetic tool. This is a really cool tool because it literally, you just guide it and it does everything for you. Um, so it's really quick at getting rid of stuff. Um, I think for this you don't need to really be that um, neat because it's obviously they're clouds and they're... Right, so I'm going to leave that for what for now. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this these side bits. Um, I think there is a way I can. If I go to, if I go to, select and then color range. Um, if I zoom in, click on this blue. This blue here. Hmm. Just looking at this picture here. A lot of it is the actual clouds. So there's a lot of blue in there. So I'm just going to leave that for now because um, I'll just change the color of that post. Um, so yeah, so I'll put the night sky in. Well, this is quite a big picture. Put that behind that, the layers. Okay. So that fits. We're getting there. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I found a new ladder. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of these little like warning things on it because I don't really want them on there. Um, so I'm gonna go to the pattern brush, make this a little bit smaller. Um, and if you just press Alt with it on, it takes to this portion of the ladder, and you could just kind of go down like that on it. It's obviously not gonna be perfect first time, like so. If you go a little bit further down, it's probably better. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit out the first time, and then and then I'm gonna take the lasso tool. I must get rid of that. Like that. Um, there's also a bit under here. Um, right. So. Same again. Go with this. There we go. And then take the lasso tool again. So, okay, 
Now I'm gonna make this look like it's coming out of the uh, clouds. So, if I make it about that big, and then angle it like that. And I wanna have it come out, how big is this? Okay, I kinda wanna have it a bit smaller and come out here. Um, and I like how this big, there's a big cloud here. So I'm gonna make it tuck behind that. So I'm gonna load the opacity. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is probably, Take the lasso tool and just try and work out the cloud kind of comes like that let's raise the capacity again like that um, but in the other one it kind of also um, uh, there's a like little bits of opaque uh, ladder coming through. So what I'm going to do is change the flow to about 40, change the smoothing to about 20, and just like that. So at the minute, the colours don't look very good, to be honest. Um, that's going to be something I'm going to change in a bit. Uh, let me change that back. Of some of this. Um, right. So it's good so far. Um, I'd say we need to work on making it a bit brighter because at the minute it's a very right. So yeah, let's make it a little bit lighter. Um, we also need to add in the burning. So if we can go down here, um, I go to the ladder layer, and then I'm going to go to the burn tool um, and make the top of this a bit darker like that and then I'm going to go through and make parts of this more dark as well this bit's a bit dark but not like majorly Like so, and then, um, and then I'm gonna go to my texture pack and have a look what um, some of fire effects I've got in here. Here we go. So I'm gonna use this on the ladder. Um, change the. Um, and then I'm going to click on this, control T, and then distort it, uh, not distort, sorry, um, uh, warp it, and I'm just going to have it so it looks like it's coming on the, like that, so it looks like it's just on the ladder. Like so, I can even move it down a little bit. Um, right. So now we need to sort out the colours. So what I'm going to do is group with all the layers together. Um, like so. And then duplicate it, hide down below, and then merge this group. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Auto... Uh, I'm going to... Go to curves. I'm going to slightly raise this and then lower it. Uh, no. So, 
see what that says. So is a little bit. Um, I'm also going to add in some saturation. Like so, a little bit of lightness. And then see what some noise. Okay. Um, let's see if we can add some textures in here to make it a little bit more like the original. Um, I'm also going to add in the rated R. I made that blue actually. Make it like this kind of blue. Um, okay, let me see what I got. Um, oh, this could be cool. This could be really cool. A little like tarpauling. Um, let's see. I like it on there, but lower the opacity a little bit. There we go. Um, what else have we got in here? in something like this, a blue sky skin. let's see what this is saying I'll put that in and then delete the areas around the just the ladder. Like that. Um, and potentially even delete the areas around the clouds, just so it's less blue, but more blue on the actual sky. Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Um, obviously, I didn't get the right ladder. Um, I think if we had the right ladder, it might look a little bit cooler because the ladder's a bit more chunkier on the original. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we did a decent job. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's as far as I can go. Um, that was a pretty simple one. Um, but yeah, the next one I'm going to do is up to you guys. So if you want to leave in, um, in the comments below what you'd like to see um that'd be really helpful um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video see ya so won't you just give it up because you don't understand big it up but you don't understand